In this video, we'll look at the oxidation number for K, potassium, so just potassium all by itself. Since it doesn't have a positive or a negative sign after it, it's not an ion. It's just a free element, and it's going to be neutral. When we have a neutral substance here, all the oxidation numbers, they have to add up to zero. So it's just potassium. It's got to be zero. In fact, we call potassium by itself a free element. With free elements, oxidation number is zero. Things like sodium or iron or even H2O2 or S8. These are all free elements. Let's take a look at a chemical equation and see how this works. So we have potassium, free element, oxidation number is zero. Chlorine as well, oxidation number is going to be zero. But now the potassium and the chlorine, they're bonded together. Their oxidation states, oxidation numbers are going to have changed. Potassium, that's in group one. It now has a plus one oxidation number. The chlorine, that has a minus one. So the potassium, it's changed to a plus one state. It's no longer a free element because it's bonded to the chlorine. So to recap, potassium by itself as a free element, it's called elemental potassium, that'll have an oxidation number of zero. But when it bonds to something else, most likely its oxidation number will be plus one, although minus one's possible. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.